Well, um, you know, from not playing a whole lot, I just I realized, you know, that I needed work and nothing's given to you. So um, my coaches told me what I needed to do and what to improve uh, to be able to be out there and help my team. And that's exactly what I'm doing, you know, moving the ball and making sure our offense moves. Was the Florida Gulf Coast game a turning point for you? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I just feel like I feel good out there with our team. And I just feel like we're really, you know, getting things going and moving in the right direction. How much better do you feel compared to those first couple games? Um, a lot better. I mean, each game I just feel more and more comfortable. Um, and I just I feel like, you know, whatever my coaches ask me to do, I need to do. And, and that's what I've been doing. So. There was one time when you flipped the pass, and I think it might have been to you, like through like two people, and I think your whole staff all went at the same time, but it got through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's. It, you, it's that fine line between when things are working and you're in a flow and you can accept one or two of those. It, again, if it's a tight game and, you know, so you got to, you don't want to handcuff her by any means. You got to let her play through a little bit of that stuff. But time, we always talk about time and score too, you know. Um, coach, it was a bit tight early so you all made that 14. You know, um, talk, talk about Coppins. What, what was Coppins' challenge to you? I mean, I don't know if it was confidence. I thought we did a really good job on the boards. That's been an emphasis for us. You know, we're start, starting a four-guard lineup. Um, I felt like when Tiff came in, she moved the ball better. But I thought when Rayshawn came in, she, she really helped us and sparked us defensively. I thought Lexi had a good game. So I think there were different – in some ways, I felt like when the co certain combinations were in there, we were just better, you know. I think that this group that's finished the second half – finished the first half for us and then – Again, that young group that came in a little bit. And it's nice to, it's, it, when we get to flavor some of the upperclassmen with the underclassmen, I feel like that's where our chemistry is starting to go and build. And it's been, it's been nice to see over the last couple of games. Yeah, she's a great player. A slasher, gets on the boards, can finish for them, can get to the free throw line. I don't know how many times she went tonight, she was two for six. Um, you know, one of their players is hurt, so she's had to pick up some slack. She usually shoots about 12 times a game. Tonight she shot 17. So, But, you know, six for 17, she, she, was, she was part of their primary offense tonight. Sarah, how much different is it when you have a point guard? How much is your offense better when you kind of have a, a flow going at point, which is something where it's kind of been by committee to this point this season? I mean, I feel like we're, like the team chemistry is getting better every day. And I feel like the point guards, like they push the ball, like the tempo. And I just feel like, I mean, playing with Tiff, I just feel like she sees the floor, the floor like really well. And she's just playing with confidence and she knows if she passes the ball in there, I'm ready to catch. I just feel like we're just on the same page with the other guards. Um, we just knew that we just need to get it on defense because coach called a time and she was like, we need to pick it up on defense and defense is going to help us on offense. Hey, did you get more confident as the game kept going today? Yeah, definitely. Um, I just, I'm just having fun out there with my team. I think that we're getting a good flow out there and, you know, running offenses, they benefit us. We get great shots. So I think we're just all having fun out there. Do you, you, used, you went pretty small today. Mm -hmm. You know what we're, we're running. What we ran into the problem, which we realized probably right before Christmas break, is that when we play Sid and SI together, when they get in foul trouble, the way the refs are calling games, I mean people people are shooting 45 free throws in a game. We're just stuck because they're both in foul trouble, and so I'd rather use them as a substitution for each other and go with more of a. Uh, a four guard lineup, you know, Lexi, I consider a guard or a small forward, Sarah Beth a little bit, you know, so it's better to sub them in together and occasionally use two traditional posts if they're not in foul trouble, but, um, and depending on the game situation, but it's just, it makes me nervous because they're both foul prone and they're picking them up early and then they're both sitting. Obviously, you saw it, Princeton did. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of challenge is that going to be tomorrow? They're just a solid, methodical, disciplined, they run their stuff, they have four or five sets, they slow the pace down, they're a half court execution team. Um, they want you to have to play 30 seconds of offense. Um, so, again, we're going to have to try and speed it up a little bit, turn them over a little bit, and, and just try and get them out of their comfort zone. You guys struggled from three today, yeah. but we're still able to produce offensively. Did you feel like you guys kind of went away from almost living by that? Maybe yeah, we, because you had a point guard kind of yeah. something? Yeah, I think early we got – 
we took uh, uh, we took bad shots early in the game. Everybody wanted to shoot the three. You know, we didn't get any touches inside early. I mean, put a lot of it, it, again against Florida Coast. If you're hitting, great. You know, you're going to win by a lot. You know, but when you're not, then you got to change your offense and make sure you're getting touches inside and getting second chance points. And we didn't do that in the first half. Not until at least late. You know, and then I thought Rayshon coming in and changing our defense and picking it up. And then I thought we got some tips and steals and turnovers, and that gave us some easy baskets. So it's like. You know, when we're hitting great, when we're not, we got to figure out a way to speed the game up a little bit. Back to that pass that you flipped inside there. You, uh, there were two of them. <laughs> I mean, is that kind of your game, though? Or you like to kind of, you know, play yeah. a bit and try to see things that maybe you're good Yeah, I definitely, well, I mean. Some Miami internet. <laughs> I definitely see, see my post players a lot. Um, and I just, you know, they work hard down there, so I just want get, to give them the ball. But. It's just like an instinct. Like when I see it, like I just zip it in there. Uh, definitely have to be careful, like Coach said, uh, in tight sure. games. But that will happen. I, I will control it. But when it's there, I like to give it to them. Yes, extra alert. <laughs>